Okay, so we're here in this newly fashioned studio, Grant and I. He's behind the camera, I'm in front of the camera. Today is May 20th, 2020. This is your midweek Devo on the Book of Psalms, as you can see here. So picking up from what Pastor Doug had preached on, on Sunday, and I just wanted to say thanks to him for drawing our attention to Psalm 32 in his teaching last Sunday, which, by the way, uh, you can see again, and you can see any of the teachings in our series again on our website at cedarvalley.ca. Just go to the button that says Online Worship Service, and then click to View Previous Services button. That'd be awesome. So, Pastor Doug reminded us that happy people are, I know you're saying it with me, forgiven people. Escher, that's the word again. Escher, blessed, happy, is the man whose sin the Lord does not hold against him, says Psalm 32, verse 2. Why? Because of his faith in God through Jesus Christ to accomplish that forgiveness. <gasps> awesome. Now, I'm going to click, drag, and drop this idea into book number two of the Psalms, which we'll be looking at this Sunday. So Psalm 51, David has committed adultery and murdered the husband. So not good. He opens this Psalm 51 with a plea then to God to show his mercy and to cleanse him from his sin. Then we read, against you, you only have I sinned. This is in verse 4. What? How could David say this? Wasn't, wasn't his sin principally against, against Bathsheba and Uriah? No. And I would suggest that none of our sin is firstly, is principally against others or even ourselves, David violated two out of the Ten Commandments. Our first parents, Adam and Eve, did the same thing in choosing apart from God's direction for their lives. So we are disconnected from God as their children, Adam and Eve's children. We, Paul says, all sin, in case you're wondering, if you don't, and fall short of his glory. So we are prone to sin. Don't need to beat yourself up about that. That's just how it is, we are prone to ignoring God and deciding things for ourselves. Against God, we firstly sin. And then it, it spills out and over and against his image bearers, the people in our lives, and into creation. But blessed is he whose sins are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Psalm 32, verse 1. Happy are those who believe that Jesus Christ reconnects us in right relationship with God. We can then live in the knowledge that we are God's restored children, forgiven when we sin, and motivated to not sin precisely because we are forgiven. Against you, you only have I sinned. So what do we do with this then? Well, may I suggest this? Just do as King David did in Psalm 51. Go to God first and confess your sin. Name it. Be honest and humble. A broken and contrite heart God will not despise, says verse 17 in Psalm 51. Thank him for his forgiveness in Jesus Christ. And then... Go and confess your sin to each other. Pray for each other, says James in chapter 5, verse 16, so that what? You may be healed between each other in the same spirit that our relationship with God has been healed. Search your heart. <laughs> That's just my phone. I'm just going to turn that off, okay? Just give me a second. Oh, it's Steve Unger. I'll call you back, Steve. Search your heart. Is there anything between you and God right now? anything between you and someone else. Happy is the man whose sins are forgiven.